What's going on? It's uh, this week's episode of the Lone Lobos Podcast. I'm coming at you, uh, the all-American bitch half of the podcast, Sholo Mighty the Wenya. All-American? By... Are you really an all-American bitch? Yeah, that's right, bro. <laughs> you got the matching matching shoes? Yeah. I'm, I'm the river bitch. <laughs> I just came from the river. Yeah, what does that even mean? It was what do you like do water- at the river? It was more like a waterfall, a stand under the waterfall. Oh, because it was like a hike. Like yeah. We, oh, okay, okay. It was a hike along a river along that a river. ended at a, at a waterfall. It was cold as shit. Pretty cool. fun. Man. All right. All right. So we were just talking uh, <laughs> before the podcast. Jacob had a dream. We were doing a little dream dissection. Jacob, for the first time since his grandfather's passing, um, had a dream where you spoke to him. And he said, you're doing well. But he left you with the words, go back home or stay at home? He said, you need to be home. You need to be home. Yeah. Okay. You need to be home or you should be home or like be, like be home. And then that led into a conversation of Jacob saying, I don't really know if I believe in the validity of tarot cards, but he was willing to try it out to ask this question. Only of, with Jimmy. Yeah, a Jimmy of the, the Command Zone podcast. Yeah, Jimmy, only Jimmy. Um, Jimmy Wong. Jimmy Wong. And... Um, and he gave you a little dissection and you you broke it down. But now, I guess, what do you, what do, so you said you don't agree with Taro, but what do you believe others expect Taro to be that you don't believe in? Like, what do it's others see in it? Fortune telling. Okay, fortune telling. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I don't specifically think... about the future. Yes. Okay, okay. So, so okay. All right, word. All right, yeah. all right. I just don't think we as people. It's not a crystal ball. Yeah, I just don't think humans can tell what the future is going to hold. That's huh. like, okay, that's a pretty religious thing that like man cannot predict the future or read the future or know the future. But now, now I do just you think have it's to know the future like verbatim, or can you know generally what the future holds? Like, like I know if I lead myself down a certain path, I know what the future is going to be. I know if I decide to drink every day, I know eventually oh, that these leads. things will kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. lead right. Or when you, when you know, so, so I guess what I'm, I guess I don't think it, so I just, I've had my taro read a couple of times, uh, or I don't even know if that's the verb. Is that you say it? I, yeah, I don't, taro, taro, I'm not too sure. Can we say it, tear it like carrot? Tear it? Sure. <laughs> my tarot cards. <laughs> <laughs> All the crystal ball jigs are like, stop it, it's not how you say it. <laughs> uh, my vibes, my vibes. Um. I've had it done a couple of times, Uh but I, yeah, I guess all the times I see it, tarot. 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 Tarot cards. Tarot. Tarot cards. Justin Tarot. I don't know. Anyways. Trudeau. Trudeau um, cards. But all of this being said. It's interest. I, I am interested. Wait, so you've I, had I it read before. I won't lag too long on why you don't believe in it, um, or why I do believe in it, or why the first yeah, time I ever before. had my mm-hmm. tarot. Who did it, bro? Well, you get it done on Venice Beach. The, no, the first time I did it, I was in New Orleans with this like oh, okay. witchy looking chick. Okay, that uh, uh, some of my friends found like we have to, do, we have to do it, and they were like the the tarot person was like, <laughs> "You're holding a huge secret back." Okay. And I was like, no, I'm not. And she's like, no, I feel it. This is what the cards are saying. And I was like, okay. And she was like, you're, it's your father. You have a bad relationship with your father. And I was like, I have a, I have like an abnormally great relationship with my dad. It was just like the worst. She was so off. And I was like, this is bullshit. But I mean, but she was trying, this, this is a hard one because we weren't there. So I, I, I don't know. I wish I, this was, I will say like, maybe, Earlier this year was like the first time I've ever had a rocky patch with my dad. Where like okay. we would argue and like it was really intense. But this predates what, that. Like then, like was golden age Scott and Jacob. Like okay. we were going on hikes all the time, hanging out. Da da da. Yeah. Word. All right. All right. Um. So it's wrong. But then Jimmy did mine, and it was interesting. It was interesting. At it was the very interesting. Least. It was interesting at the very least. I also just liked what it said. Now, do you think it could kind of be one of those things like horoscope that is a that's, good that's gateway how gateway I... into um, like thought? Oh, that type of provoking? stuff. Yeah, like in terms of reflection. Honest, like honestly, if... I think this is a little bit of a hot take. Okay. And 
But give it to us, bro. I just think it's for people who don't normally know how to self reflect and okay. think. It just provokes them to think in that way. Like, huh, I wonder how I'm feeling. What do I? Let me search inward and think about how I feel. I think that this is just a way to get people to do that. All right. I hear you. Yeah. That, that's kind of how I view what it is. I'm like, I don't need that to self-evaluate myself. Yeah, I guess. So here's, here's where I will cup. disagree a little bit with you because I think the people that truly... I already did. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Well, you were... Well, oh, I you didn't were, see uh, Yeah, yeah. I, did, I, did, I, did. <laughs> I got um, back up. <laughs> um, no, I got I think up. the people <laughs> that <laughs> truly <laughs> use taro, taro, taro. for... Uh, or like the right way are connecting what the cards say to what your ancestors say as well are able to speak with people who who have who know you who have encountered you who lived through you from you and are able to speak to kind of that um at least in my experience like when I've had my tarot read it was something where we were you know chatting this this and that cards get laid out and then and then you know chat with the ancestors to see hey this is what's this is what's going on so but i guess i view those things as like how mm -hmm. are these cards mm -hmm. that were probably printed in a printing factory in belgium yeah yeah why are these things well they're connected just to like why can't I just use a regular deck of cards? Like, you could. Oh, so the jack means you could. You totally could. And and this is this is just like a placeholder. This is just like a. This is just the the medium in which you like. There's totally difference. So I could use Pokemon cards. Uh, say it again. I could use Pokemon cards. You totally could use Pokemon cards. You totally could. If you if you tied every like there's our symbol to a certain yeah. picture or whatever 100 percent. yeah you could and like I, this one that's why the one that i have right here today the one that i brought in because i thought you would like D &D it one. is the D, &D <laughs> more palatable for me <laughs> rpg but it's but it's based on the one that you were mentioning like the nine of cups the oh, blah blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um and this one in particular like you can use it and we will use it today to do taro but it's also used in this case to do I make build, a character sheet. Yeah, to build decks, so you can oh, like reveal cool. and, and build characters that's that way. Cool. So yeah, if you want, you can take this home and, and pass it around your buddies and oh say, God, "Look at this fake thing! Look at this weird deck of cards! Look at this got. fake thing! It's fake! It's not real!" Uh, um. So, yes, Russell, so give us a question, bro. Well, don't I shuffle it? Yeah, you, you will shuffle it. Oh, I asked a question first. No, 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 but you're gonna have it in your mind while you shuffle it. Sure, here, I'll, yeah, take it right now. And I think of a question. Yeah, think of a question. Say it out loud. What's something that you've been? You're gonna choose three. You'll I, lay them I, out. Yeah, shuffle them. Like, can I ask a dumb question or a real question? You can ask whatever question you want, bro. I really want to know if I might get one of those Santa Cruz Pokemon collab boards. Well, it's not like a magic eight ball. It's not necessarily like a yes <laughs> or no type question. It's it like it, it has to be a little bit sc scratch the surface a little bit deeper than that. Well, okay, it literally said the first sentence that I saw here. Look, I'll read it to you right here. Um. Let's see. Yeah, there was. Dude, these shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a magic eight ball, bro. That was like the first thing. Did y'all? Yeah. So this is based on the Rider Weight deck. At the most basic level, a tarot deck is composed of seventy-eight picture cards, twenty-two in the major arcana, fifty-six in the minor arcana. These mystical cards have been around for centuries. Centuries, motherfucker. Yeah, but you got to lay them out. Don't don't do it like a thing of cards. No, they're supposed to, some can be up they have different meanings if they're upside right side up and so put them out on the ground. And well, I want to see what the around. devil one looks like. <laughs> oh, what the heck? You're doing it okay. wrong. You're doing it wrong, bro. Oh, I didn't know. Dude. Dude. Respect no, the No, put them on the ground and shake them up cuz oh, some oh. they can be upright, down. <laughs> put them a little like closer to you though. The the position in which they lay flat decides what it means. You have like the regular meaning and the reverse. He's getting meaning. his the dogs, the dogs are getting up in there. Hey, it's it's the whole body inspection, bro. It's for you, Monica. This one's gonna be like okay. Yeah, I don't. I I'll admit, do I don't really know. Tarot? I don't really know too much about tarot okay. cards. So, okay. oh yeah, did you today. play? Huh? Did you play? Did you play the? Is that how it said? It? No, no, no. I'm just pronouncing it in a ridiculous way. 
Taro. Taro. I like Taro. Taro. Okay. Taro. Classic. Taro. Taro. Okay. Taro. So what are you thinking, bro? So so the one I'll that- ask it, what does my next year look like? How about that? Okay. Sure. Let's do it. So what do I do? So lay out three. We'll do a past, present, and future. Lay out three of them? The yeah. Top, middle, whatever. You could do it however you want. One. Okay. One. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What is King of Pentacles. What okay. Is, what does it mean? Give me the give me the Prince of Pentacles. Ace, right? Parents of Pentacles. Nine of Ooh, Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, bro. And they're all right side up. It should be noted. They're all right side up. None of them are reversed. all tentacles. Okay. So the question that you asked, I Jacob, got royalty. How's my next? Was how is your next year? What is pentacles? What does that word mean? Pentacles? Yeah. Pentacles? Well, what is a ten- well, pentagram? I'm not really uh, too excited about. Think it about usually has pentacles. some. Usually has some demonic. So. Associated with the elements of Earth, Pentacles is grounded in the material world. When drawing this suit, you will see themes of home, money, health, and possessions. Pentacle cards also show traits of persistence, slow development, growth, and nurturing. Okay? Those associated with Pentacles are often as stable as the mountains and as fertile of imaginations as the soil. I'm and all three fertile. of yours, yeah. all, all three of your traits are there. Okay? When a pentacles card is drawn in a session, it may imply material rewards as well as the many traits previously listed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? So now let's get into the queen what of they... pentacles. So this is your past, right? So previously… Oh, past, present, future. Right. So let's say, you know, maybe not in this moment, but prior in the year or… Whatever. Whatever, right? I was the queen. The queen of pentacles… Heads an empire of balance and tranquility. This card encourages wanderers to rest and enjoy the practical comforts of home, even momentarily. Paradoxically, though, simple and thoughtful gifts, the queen encourages you to pursue self-sufficiency. Okay. Oh, so, I just moved out. Okay. <laughs> God, that knows all. So it's real. It's real. Okay. Holy shit, the queen knows. And then the king of pentacles, that which king. is which we'll call right now. Right now. Right. The moment that you're in right now is bulk season. Is is the king of pentacles is a provider. In a reading, this card offers the confidence and decision-making skills of, a, of its lofty station to materialize earnings for your adventures. So, wealth, right? Um, plan your adventures and complete that which with you set to accomplish, and you will achieve great reward. Maybe you'll even get an elven tomb that you've been keeping your eye out for, or maybe you will acquire a new cape for your LARP groups. Damn, dude, I'm getting the elven gauntlets. Okay, and then in your future, nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles says, Dan, I'm, I'm here and I'm getting money, ladies. Come on. In the future, Holla. the nine of pentacles encourages you to appreciate what you've earned, indulge in some of your luxuries of life, enjoy your well earned independence, and reflect on how far you've come. Additionally, the nine can find you in tune with the natural or arcane world. Take a moment to spend time with the people you would do everything for in the future. So it seems like it seems like great, I could bro. die now. I don't why what what brought death into it? You just said how your year was going. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just seems like everything's gonna go pretty good. For the year. You just said for the year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you said how's my next year gonna be, bro? This is this is short term. All right. Nice job, bro. What do you think about that? So what do you think about well, this? Well, I like right what here? it said. It said I'm going to be rich. It said I'm handsome and that I have a great mind. Okay. So what do you think? Why would do you I agree like with that? all of that? Of course I agree with it. So I think I'm going to be rich. I think I'm handsome. I think I'm very creative. All right. So then what do you think? <laughs> I think I could. I think. So I think this true? is really cool. I think the queen is totally me. I'm totally the queen of pentacles. Um, I feel the same way when I read my. Uh, horoscope. Horoscope. Yeah. That it's general and... So you said when you read this, it's like your ancestors telling you, right? No, no. When I read it with Sahara, like when I read it with Sahara, when oh, I read it with someone who has the ability to, to do that speak stuff to my ancestors. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess like for me, it would feel more, not that this isn't legit and you're not an amazing Torah reader. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Doing it with someone like Sahara. I didn't read it, bro. You chose the cards. I didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> you're like, it was you. I just channeled the information. I, Can you we did. do you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, put them back and I'll shuffle them. Can I ask a question for you? Um, you can suggest a question and if I decide to agree with the question and ask it, I'll say it, yeah? Do you have a question? Or something that you think I need to figure in and out, bro? No, I just wanted to see if you would do it. All right, so what's the question? I did, I did. Oh, you didn't have it? <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to, if, if I thought I would be like, oh, what if this? Yeah, let me think. 
So what do you guys think so far, Mojack and Heidner? Or- <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wrong J. So wrong J. Wrong J. Um, yeah, wrong, yeah, fuck wrong, that guy. Wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Wrong, wrong miscellaneous brown guy. Yeah, so what do y'all think? You know, I this is new for me. I, I've I do believe that ancestors can speak to you and I talk to you through to dreams and all those things. And so I so, will say that the time I did maybe it before, I'll be a believer after today. Yeah, the time I did it before was like judgment. You know, you need to leave your morals behind, old morals behind, or you know, you should keep on with your morals. Then it was death. It was like you need like this is where change comes in. And then it was either nine of wands or nine of swords, and he was like, the road is rough ahead, and you're gonna struggle a lot, but you're far from over from your great mm. adventure. I was like, so you pull these cards, and then you're, someone's supposed to interpret them for you, but Perhaps. you're just using that book. But I'm just using the book because this I don't... is about dungeons and I mean. What is this about? The book will oh, tell yeah. you. Perhaps D D D R P G role playing. The person did it from that whole world. used a book. Um, Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna choose mine now. So here's my question. My question is, you know, I've been doing in front of the camera stuff for a while. This opportunity has presented itself to do music, and I'm wondering if this is a door opening that is, you know, that will bear good fruits, or maybe is a distraction from what my true goals actually are. Right. Mm. So that's that's what I want to know. And all and all Can I read the book? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um and and the yeah, I guess. So yeah, let's see about my past um motivations, my current motivations, and my future motivations. Do you want to do the Celtic crossbred? No, I'm just doing the past, present, future one. The Celtic cross one is pretty large. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So one. The two. fool. The high priestess. All of them are upside down. All of them are and the, the eight of pentacles. Oh, you're pentacly. Oh, the fool's the first one. All right. So about oh, my shit. about my prior the re- so do you have the reversed? Um, yes. Okay. So about my prior past. Um, yeah, like my past. Um, we'll call it uh, motivations. My past mm-hmm. inspirations. What I want. Dude, to it's tell so funny. Me. Upright is leap of faith, new beginning. Reverse is bad decisions, naivete. Okay. No worries. Yeah, it's a pass. Uh, address your fears before diving headfirst into your adventure. Perhaps you are unsure about how to play out the encounter in session or in real life. You're not quite in the right spot physically or emotionally to get things rolling. Maybe there's some unexplored reason that's holding you back. Regardless, the full reverse advises caution and being able to look at the bigger picture before diving in. So we could interpret this like, yo... Maybe acting wasn't the thing. It would just be fucking it, crazy. I interpret it as maybe it like, is music. You have to do music. I interpret it as like maybe the big the big jambalaya prize in acting didn't come so soon because I wasn't ready for it. Like I've been doing this for a while and and this is saying that, you know, it's it's taken a while. You gotta wait a little longer for that Oscar. Okay. And the middle, the present, my motivations right now, high where my passion lies, the reverse high Oh, Interesting. See, but I don't see. I mean, I don't know. I don't read it out loud, bro. I don't think this is true. Uh, secrets disconnected from intuition, withdraw silence. The reverse high priestess suggests you hold fast through the possible possibilities of travel to exotic worlds that lie before you. You aren't ready to experience the dangers of your subconscious or other worlds. Now is the time to withdraw, take stock, and study. You won't ace the test you didn't study for, and you can't get into a frigid planet without warm gear. Okay, interesting. That, right, right. The end of that was so fucking broad. Yeah, no shit. You can't go somewhere cold without warm stuff. Okay, okay. All right, all right. And then the future? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles reversed. as well. In in the in the future, let's see. I mean, it's not three pentacles in a row, but you know, it's still pretty good. Okay, the pentacles are like all the way in the back. Yeah. Okay, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Any day now. Yeah. Okay, sorry. They're in order. Yeah. We can just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I thought it would go. <laughs> thought it would go king, <laughs> queen, <laughs> ten, nine, eight. It's not a regular deck of cards. It doesn't make sense. What it's not like. Okay. Uh, reversed. Perfectionism. Obsession. Okay. Self development. Okay. I noticed that these words don't really have to do with the passage. Uh, know that perfection is a myth. 
states that reversed eight. This card suggests that despite your well-intentioned dedication, you may be straying toward a dangerous obsession. Mm. It's okay to lose the occasional battle or realize your coworker's shortcut actually wasted five minutes. When you lose your vision of the overarching goal in favor of a vision of perfection, you put the goal at risk. Okay. Damn, bro. Hang up the microphone, bro. I mean, to be don't fair. Don't ever sing again. The, I don't want to ever hear you sing or hum <laughs> another fucking tune. I, I, you ever make music again? You're wrong. Look, I will the say this. I will say this. To you. I had a very specific question, and this was a very specific, specific answer. answer. So at the very least, I'm a believer. So you're not going to do music anymore? No, I'm, I'm interpreting it the way that I'm interpreting it, bro. How did you interpret it? I'm not going to say it out loud, bro. <laughs> um, no, no. So, so the way that I interpret it is, like, when it comes to and, and granted, what? granted the the music stuff, like, I don't know. I I still don't know where it's headed, right? So, like, since I started it to where it is now, it's changed so much. Um, yeah. Speaking to the the last card, the like, uh, be wary of it's of an obsession. The future, right? It's it could be an obsession. I don't know. The question that I had, you know, I don't know. I just have to think about it some more often. I, uh, some more. I don't think because I'm not well versed in these things. I'm looking at it super surface surface level. Well, also just what the freaking book says. What the book says, and I think also. In moments like these, in vulnerable moments, because I feel like whether it's therapy or taro or these kind of crystal ball seeking mm -hmm. things, you use them in moments of vulnerability or, or like, I really want an answer. I don't know the answer and I, I would like to seek. And I think these things, you know, when flipping them over, perhaps maybe to what you were saying, perhaps some of it is like, what do you call it? Um, when you believe something and then you start seeing it more often oh, oh yeah yeah like For that sure. thing like i think perhaps when like seeing the words reading these words here and them perhaps that's you perhaps triggers oh. <laughs> um perhaps triggers some sort of thought in my head mm -hmm. and and because i believe it, there are no accidents. There are no coincidences. Whatever the thought that popped up in my head is kind of like, all right, that's 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 how I view it because I can't speak to my ancestors about it. Mm -hmm. you know? So, have you asked that question with Sahara before? No, no, no. I don't know. I think like asking something. This is my opinion. Asking something like that of like, oh, is this you know business venture? Is this idea I have is this going to bear fruit? Mm -hmm. Like. Not leaving it all up to, like, this deck. Yeah, of course. Like. How could it be all up to the deck? Well, yeah, I'm, like. It's free will. Everything that I'm doing is. Yeah, it's free will. But, you know, you could read this thing and it's like, oh, it's just obsession. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you lose the big picture, it's like, you can be successful in whatever you want to be successful in. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just don't believe in this type of stuff. If it's super negative or super positive. Okay. Like. It more comes down to my actions and what I do, and the world's gonna fucking be the world and do crazy shit anyways. There's no deck of cards that's gonna be like, well, you know, probably don't invest in in this business venture because COVID's gonna happen, and you watch out for a huge pandemic. Like, yeah, there's no way it's gonna totally. I don't. I don't think that that's. I don't think that that's to happen either. What I do think is that the cards aren't necessarily built on a scale of like good and bad. I don't think it's necessarily like. This is positive outcome and this is negative outcome. I don't think necessarily that that is the axis at which all of these cards lie on of like, is my future going to be good or bad? I don't think that that necessarily is always it. I think that there's other axis in which yeah. these cards kind of lie on. And yeah, and that's it. Couldn't but you say though that like if you ask a question, mm -hmm. like there's, you could put most of the answers in like a more positive basket and a more negative basket of like- Totally. And I think- to that same point, if you put the same card in front of 10,000 people, they'll all react a different way to it, right? So in that sense, it perhaps may be positive, negative, but each person will take what they will of that. There, will, there is no true one answer when it comes to this stuff because the way that you interpreted it and the way I interpreted it were different, right? Mm -hmm. You said you disagreed and I, haven't, I still haven't come to my conclusion yet, right? So, so I think 
for that reason, it still is not good and bad because what one person could deem good, right? Like, is bad for the other person. Right? Yeah, right? So, <clears throat> like, I know you are, you know, interpreting yours in a diff- in a, in whatever way you're going to interpret it. Mm-hmm. I don't like that it's like, oh, this thing could be an obsession and is, like, leading you the wrong way. I'm just like, uh, that's, uh, uh, like uh. that's stupid. Like, why, like, it should only be positive stuff. Not perhaps. like it should only be positive, but to me, that's just like, why would you want to put that energy upon yourself or, like, have the just put it up to chance and like all the variability and just like, oh, this could be a a negative thing that is going to tell me to do. But that comes with the idea that everything that you're always doing is right. Like that, that feels like such a self-righteous answer to be like, well, the way that I feel is correct. Why, if the cards disagree, that's bad. I guess, I don't know if it's, I don't like that it doesn't disagree. I'd rather go through life making the decisions I was going to make anyways Mm. and not make any decisions out of fear. Like, out of fear of, like, oh, well, this tarot card said, like, maybe be hesitant with that. Like, mm-hmm. I, I might not do that. I'm not saying, like, if you get advice, don't fucking listen to it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think you make the mistakes that you make for a reason. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. you get the advice from the tarot card and you follow it for a reason, too. It could, yeah. Do you... I so, like back to this strength. dream then, Jacob. Do you think that that was real? Was that actually your grandfather? Or was that your mind made up? Your mind made it up? I don't know, dude. The The night that he passed um i had a dream fucking white light behind him he looked exactly how he looked or er, he looked older not like exactly how he looked when he passed but uh he had tears in his eyes and was like i love you i'm sorry i'm leaving everything is going to be okay take care of nanny i know you will oh. and like walked into the light and i woke up bawling <laughs> like i've never had any fucking dream ever like that before, and I haven't had one since. Mm-hmm. And then randomly, you know, two years later, I get a dream of him sitting down, just like how we would sit down all the time and talk. And he's like, hey, I love you. I hope everything's okay. You're doing great. Um, everything's going to be okay. Um, I think it was, you need to be, or it's like, um, I want you home. Like, you need to be home. And I woke up and was like, what the heck? Sounds to me like uh, your grandpa thought he, you had it under control and you didn't, bro. Dude, I know. Damn. But no, so then I, I asked I, home, I so. asked all the tarot people out here. You, okay. I, I, the top card was the devil and I bottomed it. Mm-hmm. Well, I bottomed it and then I looked at it. So I didn't cheat. I guess that might be cheating. And then it was judgment, death. Is it a nine of wands or nine of swords? Whatever the one that's like the struggle one, like long journey one. Um, but it was it was really interesting. I th- I thought it was it was very interesting. It was very dire and deep. I was like, mm-hmm. but I want to hear if you think it was real, like if that was my grandfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally think that was real. So why is that real, but not something like like palm reading or something like that? This is a uh, like if you Holy if you feel like crazy, if you feel bro. like you have the ability, my dad to even after he with passes, a screw. I don't. But I just I don't know. It just seems like uh like you're believing it here, but not here that you can do it. That you have the ability to. Speak. I don't. I don't think it's I have the ability. This thing fucking came to me. I wasn't like, all right, we're gonna go to sleep, and I'm calling upon my grandfather, and we're gonna make this happen. But like, there are people that have that ability. I'm sure there's some people that do. I don't think that I do. I've I sorry. Have I you ever I tried? I haven't tried. Yeah. So, I mean, I probably do. If we're being honest, yeah. if there was anyone in the room to have it, probably be me. Um, Dude, take no. some ayahuasca and you will. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> my yeah. I, I've if I take ayahuasca, I'm gonna start using more than ten percent of my brain. It's game over. Have any everybody. of have Monica? Have you ever had an interaction with a with like a that? past one spiritual or a, yeah a dream that you thought this? There's no way that this was a dream. This was something else. I did. I lost someone about a year ago mm-hmm. and okay. then um i they just appeared in my dream it was me walking to my bedroom and they were sitting on my bed mm-hmm. just like they're just sitting waiting for me and then they were telling me like hey i'm okay you guys are all going to be okay i left because it was i just wanted to well, be with so. my family member mm-hmm. and it just like whoa and i just woke up crying Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was so weird because it was about a month after their passing. Mm. Oh. And then 
to talk about dreams. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but there have been multiple instances in my life where I dream of a certain like scenario or just like, mm-hmm. like I'm in the dream watching things and then it happens in real life. Is that like a deja? Is that what deja like, vu? Like a deja is? vu kind of thing. Yeah. But you remember dreaming it. Yes. Do you write your dreams down? So you I don't. Write- you you should. should start. Dude. Because I thought I've Page done of that. Cops is telling you, write down them damn dreams. I, I'm reading this book right now called The Ghost Tracks that a character claims to have this innate ability to like be able to see like something's bad's about to happen. And I just know I can feel where it's going to happen. I don't, and I don't know why. Like I've never been here before, but I just I know that this is where it's about to go down. Whoa. It's a horror book. Yeah. Horror? Yeah, it's my it's one of my first fiction <sighs> books in a while. Yeah, yeah. Horror books. So was was that your first time with this family member visiting you in your dream? That was the first time. That was the first time. And then it happened because the first dream I had was um the day before their funeral. Mm-hmm. Oh whoa. And that really tripped me out. And then it happened again. A month after. Um no, the they appeared in my dream again. I believe it was like a day or two before my birthday. Hmm. And that like. That's trippy. Yeah. What was yours? Mine was my, my grandma. I, I've, uh, uh, but I had one that, have you guys ever lost somebody and wanted them, but they haven't shown up yet in your dreams? Like I have a, a really good friend that passed and I just keep being like, bro, what's up? Why haven't you? Oh damn! But my grandma he's did. Busy, bro. He's got he's a lot busy. of friends. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. knocking on everyone's door, bro. Yeah. You're, you're not sleeping enough. That's why. You're, oh, true. You're yeah. not getting I'm, enough hours. You're not hitting too, that rem. Too busy. Yeah. I need to get that. Mo- <laughs> he's I need waiting for you to hit like the he's, perfect he's cycle. Like, I need to get that, that I've mouth been, tape. I've so been I can, waiting. He's like, dang. It's a rem. No, my grandma. But the weird thing is, both times. One time it was like maybe a year after my grandma passed, and yeah. um, she had she had said that uh, I, like to keep keeping our family together. Cause I'm always like trying to initiate like big gatherings, or okay. I started like this big group chat with everybody on it on like my side. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, WhatsApp but th- groups can get big. Man. Yeah. So mm-hmm. then, but then I'm just like, am I just patting myself on the back for being the one? Like, hey, Grandma told me I'm the one. I'm that the keep- glue. Yeah, I'm the glue. <laughs> but the the funny thing is that the second time was recently, and oh. she and my grandma scolded me about my cooking for not following her recipes, because I was just boasting to my brother that like. Yeah, we can do it her way, but like at the end of the day, I will. But some of these things I'm adjusting, and I think she would be okay with that. Because, and she would give because she was like, I'm, I'm like, because okay I'm like adjusting. The more I learn about like the okay, okay. like like our culture, uh-huh. and I'm learning things that that they didn't know because their view of the culture was different. Being in being where they were at, but she scolded me in my dreams. What do you think of the idea that your dreams are just like a parallel world? You know what I'm saying, like. It's there's a whole other life that is had in the dreams that just we don't have the power to unlock. But I hope not. My dreams fucking suck. But they could be. I mean, if you lucid dream, they could be crazy. I do lucid dream, and I'm all I can't get out of the situation. Anymore. Well, then you're not lucid dreaming, bro. <laughs> no, I'll I'll literally be like lucid dreaming, and I'm like, oh shit, this door. Like I'll open the door, and then like it'll be a fucking monster in there and, okay. it, and it like a fucking monster a dude fucking that's monster that's yeah. my that's the scariest type of monster is the one. <laughs> <laughs> no no oh my and God. it'll be a monster or something that guy's a more he's got that guy's a fucking monster yeah and i'll be like oh shit let's rewind and i'll go be like not that door run 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 go over here i'm like oh shit that's cool run 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 oh my god the monster broke out of the room and is chasing me now anyways Hmm. I guess in my, I guess, yeah, I, I, we're just misinterpreting. I figured lucid dreaming, like, you know, psh, those of us that are good enough could just be like, monster, go away. But you're saying you you have the lucid ability to open different doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's your. That's how far your lucid well, dreams I will, go. Yeah. Mine, <laughs> Reverse open new door. My lucid dreaming feels like there is a storyline and I can do whatever the fuck I want in the storyline. But, but the storyline will continue. Like, the things that happen will happen. Hmm, like you know? the ant or like the, uh, I guess not like the ant thing. Okay. So you can't change the outcome. Yeah. I just have this reoccurring dream where. So that sounds like the opposite. Well, <laughs> it's no. Not, it's literally not a lucid dream. <laughs> really? <laughs> lucid dream is you can control it. Yeah. So what you're saying is everything is happening around you. Like, so you're controlling yourself, but you're controlling none of the other stuff. Well, no, but you're aware that you're dreaming at I'm, least. I'm I guess aware that, that I'm means dreaming and I can control. That's lucid. I can control reality in the sense that. I'm like, oh, I don't want that to happen. Let's rewind that and do something different. 
So you have half control. I guess, yeah. I used to have this dream where a mechanical spider would pop out of my sister's uh, swimming meet. Okay. Or like out of the swimming pool and just start fucking <laughs> impaling people. Whoa, incredible style. Yeah. And everyone started running away. And we, I got separated from my family. It was just me and my dad. And they went off into a rocket ship. <laughs> and then... My dad and I were like sprinting around Baldy and this mechanical spider, for whatever reason, was just looking for us. And we were the only humans there. And we would like hide behind a rock and then go over to like this trail and like try to, and it was trails that I knew. And like, I, or like, and then my dad would die. He would get impaled. Okay. And I'd be like, fuck, I don't want my dad to die. <laughs> go back to the spider coming out. And Groundhog Day, he would always die or what? Uh, no, sometimes he wouldn't always die. Sometimes, uh, I remember this one that freaked me the fuck out. We like hopped through this. Uh, I saw like this hole in the side of a mountain and I hopped through and as I was sliding down, I was like, oh, it's going to, I knew it was going to split. And so I needed to split and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the right. And so I like went to the right. No, 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 the spider like is to get away from the spider. And I landed in like this colony of snake people Hmm. that were fucking creepy. Naga. I do not want to be here. Hmm. But every time I would reverse and I go left, I'd land back in the Hmm. snake thing. I hated that one. Well, I I like this. You should, you sh- dude, you should. It, <laughs> You're like, you should believe in this you stuff. You should <laughs> believe in this stuff, brother. <laughs> Everything that I'm hearing is like, hmm. yeah, you should talk with someone who knows. I wish I knew. I, I Or I wish there was like, I mean, I'm sure there are, but I wish there were more digestible ways to start, you know, this process of of getting into whether it's dreams or spirituality or death or When ancestors. was the last time you had deja vu? I have deja vu all the time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just had it like the other day and it just made me think of it. I usually have it in like conversations. Like yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Like usually I'm like oh. super dumb stuff. Oh, okay. Or for I'm asking for you or no. Uh like it's it's usually mundane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But that means you're on the right track, bro. Yeah, that's where I was here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, I had it. Yesterday, and I was sitting on a toilet. He's like, I was beating it. <laughs> I was like, hey, this is the same thing I thought. <laughs> no, uh, I was sitting down on a toilet, and well, no, no, no. <laughs> nope, that's how you do it. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I was facing. I, well, a friend of mine was touching up my hair, and uh, I was sitting on the toilet facing the tank, and she just you were said, straddling the toilet. I was straddling the okay, toilet. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. the was, term you were. I was looking straddling for. the toilet. Okay, yeah. So I was like, like that, yeah. straddling. And she just said the most mundane thing ever. And I was like, well, I don't know about that. I'm supposed to be here right now. I'm mm. supposed to be straddling this toilet. Yeah, let's see your hair, bro. I had something happen to me. Okay. That Are was you just... allowed to say it on the pod or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally. So I was um, sleeping over at someone's house. And... They were sleepover. Like, <laughs> okay. Sleepover. Okay. Yeah. Sleeping over at someone's house. So sleeping okay. over at someone's house. He was, you and dog. they were like, hey, I'm just prefacing this. You know, I have a little bit of an ant problem. It's ant season, you know. Oh. Summer, end of summer. You not know this? Uh, but I mean, like, like a problem that you can't fix, but like. No, 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 no. no. Like, okay. I had the exterminator come out, but there's still some ants in my house, you know. Okay. It's just during the summer, like, ants will just kind of go crazy. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. So, sleepover, falling asleep, and I feel an ant, like, on my leg. A tr- like, you really, because I've had this happen before, and I look, and oh, there's nothing there. I grabbed it, felt it, put you it in it. a ball. Sorry, vegans, I killed the ant. Ugh. Threw it in the corner of the room. Damn. And okay. I was like, this is so stupid. Fall asleep. <sighs> and then, in the middle of the night, it must be 3 a.m., I just start hearing, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And I'm really delirious. And so I kind of, like, fully wake up more. And then I just feel, <laughs> I feel in my ear. Like no one is in my ear fucking okay. banging around. I'm like, what the fuck? And it sounds like, you know, when you do that and you're like, what? <laughs> it just sounds like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, so. <laughs> like, guys, fuck? guys. Just keep it together. I'm sorry. It's so uh not the spit show. Uh, so, I'm putting my finger in my ear. I'm like, what the fuck? Whoa. And this person's sleeping next to me is just like of course. Fucking knocked out. Yeah, as the boys usually do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, at a, yeah, sleep, as, at a sleepover. <laughs> as the boys usually do at a sleepover. <laughs> in, 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 in bed so next to you. Just, they're knocked out. Yeah. They're just <laughs> so, as natural, Aiden is asleep. <laughs> he can't wake right up. Right next to me, you know. 
Uh, so I'm like going through the. You're not like um, when this happens to me, I have like the person next to me would have woken up. You really are able to be this calm that. Oh yeah, I was just like, I was like, this wow. is so fucking annoying. Much braver than I would have been. Something in my ear. You're like, please okay. help me. Sorry, continue. Okay, so I'm, you know, going through the bathroom. I'm trying to find the Q-tips. I find the Q-tips. I'm shoving them in my ear, like really Getting deep, deeper deep in there. Yeah. Deep, deep. It's like kind of hurting. I'm like, what the fuck? And I still, <laughs> now still it's going feel crazy. It. I'm like, oh my God. So now I'm just getting really upset. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck this. Whatever's in my ear, I'll just live with it. It'll die in my ear and I'll have a moldy ear and eventually it'll come out. And I was like, oh, no, that's kind of gross. Maybe it's going to lay eggs. Yeah. And well, that's I was like, that would suck. So I just put my head under their faucet and just yeah. water in my ear. So I'm hoping the water, you know, go in. It'll drown it. It'll split it out. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And so put water in my ear for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Nothing. No, and then it stops. And I was like, thank fuck. I had something in my ear gone. Fall back asleep. Then, you know. My friends dye my hair. We make a target run. I'm like, oh, I How need- How much to- later is this? This is the next day. This okay. is like, you know- After you say, good morning, Aiden. Yeah, okay. good morning, Aiden. You wake up. How's your sleep? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smack his ass real quick. Um, <laughs> dude, I had the weirdest dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me straddle your toilet real quick. That was your, dude, yeah, that yeah. was your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like- uh, But so we make the target run. I was like, oh, I need Q-tips for my new place. Okay. Buy some Q-tips. And- uh, I'm just like, oh, you know, get my ear. Mm-hmm. I go like this, pull it out, and there's a fucking ant on my Q-tip huh. at like eight Still o'clock alive. at night. It, no, no, it was dead. But oh, it was just that the, it died, but didn't come out. And it was just dead ant. Just I went like this. Whoosh, and I was like, ah, oh, there's the little fuck. You know what to do in that moment right there, where you're dumping water in your ear. Put hydrogen perox. Put a little bit, like just enough, like a thumb, a, a bottle cap, enough in your ear. Spider, ant, whatever the fuck, it'll get out 100%. And it'll it, get out? It'll get out and it's not harmful to your ear. So really? The next time that, that happens, yeah. Was it like a regular ant? Was it a big ant? Was it Ant Man? Like Fire ant? He has a picture of it. A regular ant. Just a fucking ant. Oh, no, that's a beefy ant. That, yeah. that is a big ant. A beefy ant. So then, can you actually then give us what the best, what the most accurate ant in your ear sound is? It was that. Huh. So it was like because you had little hairs in your ear. Yeah, so it, was it was like, like I don't, I don't know if it was them. stuck or what, dude. It was trying to talk. I was to like, you. It was nesting. You think? I don't know. Just looking Sleeping? for something, finding somewhere to. It was sleep? like I, I'm not done. I need to dig deeper and find the whatever is in my head. They're coming for me, bro. Huh? That's that's new. They fear want unlocked. me. They want all my pentacles. I've never, yeah, I've never, I've never had that happen before. Thank goodness. I would be it way sucks. too afraid. Yeah. All right, I got two last things before we before we wrap up the pod. I was at this um SZA concert. Oh, cool. <laughs> Basically, she makes music or at least the songs that she was playing in this particular night are like songs that you make when you're angry at your ex-boyfriend. Okay? <laughs> like I like that. That's funny. Like yeah, like why why did I ever date you? Oh, you yeah, never yeah. loved me. Mm-hmm. This stuff. You didn't understand you me. You didn't understand me. You cheated all these things. Yada, yada yada. I don't love you. And I was positioned next to in or behind this girl, this couple who must have been they must have been going through something. Because this girl was just airing it out with the sizzle lyrics. Let's see. Let's oh, last it. No. Yeah. Oh Think God. I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. Why do I love you? It was. But she's doing it. She's like. But the most awkward thing was. I And I recorded a couple. Of, that, that would be the only one that I think we put up. But it was just so weird. Con- and just getting their anger out with their lyrics. Have you ever gone to a concert and sang the lyrics super loudly in catharsis? No, I don't really listen to music like that, though, I think. Guys don't usually sing along out loud to lyrics. I mean, I sing along. Bro, fucking naive. No, but in concerts, perhaps, like... We went to that Kooks concert, bro. We totally built and all that shit. Yes, this is true. This is true. But not in catharsis, just in fun. Yeah, it's it's sick. I don't really listen to music like that, though, I'd say. Really? Not Not like this lady right here? You're not... 
What's the song that you're bumping when you're mad at your ex? Oh, dude. It's this great uh, Rearview Mirror by Pearl Jam. Okay. So oh, good. Rearview Mirror by yeah, Pearl Jam. What is it? Uh, okay. uh, pissed on my plate, pushing me down, hand on my face, swallowed it down. I might be reversing everything. Yeah. Wait, what is that in reference to? Uh, He's basically like, uh, hand on my face, pushing me down, pushed on my plate, swallowed it down. Yeah, he's basically like, you were fucking with me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's like, okay, I was like, that. He's, what is it? And he's like, uh, saw things so much clearer. Want you, want you. He's like, saw things so much clearer. Want you, we're in my rear view mirror. There's a badass guitar. Is that your guitar. song of the week, bro? What? Oh, sure. That could be my song of the week. Okay. okay. It's a good song. It's dude, it's like Do you guys like, have a song when you're angry at your ex? Or, or do you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be that <laughs> specific like, situation. Yeah, watermelon sugar high. No, I have a playlist. <laughs> it's, but like it's you know you have a playlist. I forgive, but I never forget. I like that though. I, I had some friends one, that nah. disagree with me. They're like, what do you mean forgive, don't forget? You should forget. Like that. I was like, that makes no fucking sense. I mean, All you have a, too well. Ten minute version, the bridge. Yeah, is that the song of the week for you? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh. It's not the song of the week, but it's the one. The it's the, one. the, it's, it's the bridge. Taylor's version. Really quickly to end, I have a present for you, Jacob. Oh, what? You got to throw it on for the end. We're wrapping up the what? pod. What is it? <laughs> oh my god, bro! So we could be matching. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my merch, bro. Throw it on, bro. <laughs> Bro. What is that into? And I can go ahead and walk out. <laughs> so oh, it's funny. guts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's actually hilarious. Do you love Olivia Rodrigo? Yeah. Dude, that's so funny. Yeah, I went to New York and she had a pop up and I waited three hours in a line for Oshun to get what? some stuff. Why? Well, I, I oh, underestimated. I didn't even notice that that's what was on your shirt. I. I um I got an email from Amex saying that Amex members get the first hour free. So I was like, oh, dude, what? All these little girls aren't gonna have Amex cards. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wreck all these little girls. And I waited three hours <laughs> for Olivia Rodrigo. Misunderstood teenagers. Dude. <laughs> yeah. So now we're matching as well as our Olivia O's on the set. I didn't now. notice that. Yeah, I picked those up. That that's actually that was a steal. That's this is like <clears throat> some kith type collab right there oh really but, yeah dude this is pretty funny that's yeah now good. now we got our matching merch i was so disappointed though i waited three hours for nothing because apparently what i was waiting for was a line for this like guts experience like she had this warehouse of different sets from her music videos okay and i was waiting in the line not for merch but to get through that thing so by the time i got inside the facility waited three hours they said oh you could just skip the rest of this line and go right up to the front of the, the line. You have an I'll, Amex card, bro. What are you doing? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be here for <laughs> walk around to, to lay on the, the guts bed. I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah. So What were you waiting all the time? You should have fucking taken a picture in front of the you guts, bed. No, the I guts had, bed. Dude, I took pictures of everything. I was, like, <laughs> I was, I was speed. No, I did no, the hear speed me run. I was, like, I was looking real touristy. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> just so I could show my sister that I was there. Um, Does she like Olivia Rodrigo? Loves, yeah, loves Olivia. Really? Rodrigo. I guess every, every, yeah, every. Yeah, I was like, she's totally the age for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I picked up some merch, and then yeah, she had some cool vinyl, some signed vinyls. But I, I had to pick us up some, some merch. Was she there? Uh, she, not on the, t not at the time that I was there. But yeah, okay. she was there. Um, but I did see her getting, getting sushi. Oh, yeah, you yeah. see her eating a lot. Yeah, yeah. You are one half. Let's wrap us up. Oh, also, um, really quickly. Song of the episode, but before that, uh, subscribe. We noticed that a lot of y'all that are watching the video aren't necessarily subscribed on, on Spotify or necessarily YouTube. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, drop a follow, drop a subscription, Can whatever. Can we just take a, the video of Wolfie Glick saying, please subscribe? Who's that? Wolfie Glick? You know Wolfie Glick? No. Bro, world champ difference? Really? He's the Pokemon VGC world champion, bro. Oh, yeah. How did I? Uh, I'm so sorry that that slipped my mind. I apologize. Dude, yeah. Wolfie no. Glick, actually, shout out Wolfie Glick. His videos are so good. I watch all of them. Wolfie Glick, I love you. He stayed, yeah. He stayed until the hour and 20 minute mark just to hear that shout out. Dude, um, <laughs> 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 all right. 
Thank you all for tuning into this week's episode of the podcast. Um, I would actually like, uh, I want to hear some, as we were as we were talking about the dreams, I would love to hear about some of the pods, some of oh, our listeners, yeah, yeah, yeah. this dreams, and or if you all have talked to your dead relatives um, in your dreams. Yep. Past relatives, if that sounded too, uh, if that sounded too triggering. Also, anyone out there, sorry. tell us if you've ever had like really bad tarot readings that were like, you're fucked. I'm really curious if anyone's if you ever gotten one of those. Not that Jacob's going to believe them, but he, we, he just wants to hear. He I just, just want to know. He just what wants it to said. see the letters on the page. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, all right. Very quick song of the week. Oh, rearview mirror, Pearl Jam. Leave it on the dance floor, Hope Tala. All American bitch, was it Rodrigo? <laughs> um, Lucid by Nicholas Gray. Oh, Ooh. nice. Yeah, yeah. Dude, savage. Word. Thank y'all. Um. See y'all in the next episode. I'm one half Shola Mighty the Winya, joined by the salubrious half Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand. See you in the next week. Bye. Ciao. Ciao, bacalao. This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos. <laughs>